Hey guys, I'm Akash from Pabli Connect team and in this video, I will show you how to connect Facebook group inside Pabli Connect. So a lot of our users were facing some issues or problems while connecting their Facebook group with Pabli Connect and sending or receiving new posts or new data between these two applications. So in this video, I will show you how you can connect Facebook group and Pabli Connect with just few simple steps. So let's begin with our process. So as you can see, here we are on my Facebook account and I have a Facebook group which I want to connect with Pabli Connect. So we'll go to Groups section and from there we will open up the group. So Pabli Tech, this is the name of the group which I want to connect with Pabli Connect and automate things with it. So after opening our group, on the left side we can see there are multiple options. We'll scroll down and we'll try and find an option named as Group Settings over here. So just click on Group Settings. Now after reaching on this page, we will scroll down and come to last and at last we can see an option named as app. So basically what we have to do, we have to install the Pavli Connect app in our group and to do so, it is required that you must be the admin of that particular Facebook group. So I am of the admin of this particular group named as Pavli Tag. So I will just go to app section, click on this edit button, this pen icon and from after scrolling down, just click on add apps. Now after that here you are in the Facebook apps marketplace. Here just search for Pavli Connect. Pavli Connect and you can see the Pavli Connect app over here. Just select this and click on add. Now you can see that the Pavli Connect app is now successfully added in your Facebook group. Here in the app section when we will click on edit button again we can see this app. So the step 1 of making the connection is complete. We have to add the Pavli Connect app in our Facebook group and we have done it successfully. After that we will go to our Pavli Connect dashboard. So this is my dashboard of Pavli Connect. So now to reach this dashboard you just have to go to your browser and here search for P-A-B-B-L-Y pabli.com slash connect and after reaching on the landing page of Pabli Connect by clicking on sign up free you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just 2 minutes or if you already have an account just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example I'll name this workflow as Facebook Groups. Click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here and in this workflow we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So basically we can use Facebook groups application in trigger as well as action in the both the steps according to our use case or workflow. Now let's see how we make the connection. So we will begin with our trigger window. So we will come to trigger window and here in choose app we will search for Facebook groups. Facebook groups it is. Then after that in trigger event you can select any trigger event according to your choice. For example I will select new post. So I want that whenever a new post is shared on my Facebook group the details or the data of that new post shared should be captured inside Pabli Connect. And after that we can help read the help text below over here which says in order to use Facebook groups with Pabli Connect you must have installed the Pabli Connect app in your Facebook group. So the step 1 which we did, did in the beginning of the video was the same. We have installed the Pabli Connect app in our Facebook group. And what are the steps to do so? You can also refer to the very same steps over here. So after installing the Pabli Connect app in our Facebook group, we came to a workflow and here we will click on connect. Select add new connection and click on connect with Facebook groups. Now guys because we have logged into our Facebook account in our browser in another tab, Pabli Connect detected the very same Facebook account and made the connection. And after making the connection, we will scroll down and here it is asking us group. And in the drop down below, we can see that all the groups present in our Facebook account can be seen over here. So this is the list of all the groups. Let me show you. We will go to Facebook and here you can see all of these groups. So a public connect is asking us that basically which group we want to select for which group we want to get the new post from. So public tech is the name of the group. So I will select this group for example and then it is asking us limit. So what is this limit? Let's refer to the help text below over here. 
enter the limit of new posts to be fetched on each execution. For getting but better result, the limit should be 10 or more. So basically, it is asking us that how many posts or the details of the data of how many posts should be captured every time this automation is triggered. So it is referring us, it is suggesting us that the limit of number of posts should be 10 or more. So for example, we will enter 10. Then after this, when we will click on save and send test request, the most recent 10 posts of our Facebook group, this group will be captured inside Public Connect. So let's make a new post on our Facebook group first. So we'll go to Facebook group, go to this group, just a second, community home. And after, after that, we will create a new post on our Facebook page. So let's type something over here. So for example, I'll type, hello everyone. We are just testing this connection. Okay, so this is a dummy post which we are going to share on our Facebook group. Click on post. And the post is shared. Now we'll get back to Public Connect. And because we have connected our Facebook group with Public Connect and we have selected our trigger event as new post, when we click on save and send test request, the response of the very recent post, very recent 10 post will be captured inside Public Connect. So let's do this. Let's click on save and send test request. And yes, guys, we have received a response over here. And in this response, we can see that in message, we have received the very same post which we have just now shared. Hello, everyone. We are just testing this connection. And we have other uh, posts as well, uh, previous posts which we have shared. So, guys, basically, uh, we haven't posted 10, po we haven't shared 10 posts in this Facebook group. So, that is why we haven't received any kind of response over here in the of recent test 10 post. So in trigger, we saw that the connection which we made between Facebook group and Public Connect is successful by adding the Public Connect app in Facebook group. Now the same thing follows for action as well. If you are using Facebook groups application in action window, just choose here. Facebook groups it is. Okay, Facebook group. And you just have to follow the very same process. For example, we'll select action event as post message. We will test by sending a message in our Facebook group. Click on connect, select add new connection, connect with Facebook groups. And once again, here also the process is same. You can basically connect your Facebook groups account with Public Connect using the same process. And here after making the connection, it is asking us group again that in which group we want to share the post message. So this is the group Public Tag. What is the message? So I will uh, enter a message as hello everyone once again. The test connection was successful. The test connection was successful. Then it is asking us a link which is not mandatory. So for now, we will ignore this field. Then after when we will scroll down, we will find the very same help text in important note that we have to install the Public Connect app in our Facebook group to make the connection and use Public Connect automation with Facebook groups. So we have already done that. So just click on save and send test request. And we have received a response over here. So this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the text message which we have entered over here will be posted on our Facebook group. So let's check once. We'll get back to Facebook group, refresh our Facebook group page. And we will find that we have this post as well. First, we have shared a post two minutes ago. Hello, everyone. We are just testing this connection. And then after that, right now, we have shared a post which says, hello, everyone. The test connection was successful, which means whatever data you will add or you will map in this automation, the automation or the workflow, whichever you are creating according to your choice, whatever data you will enter in this message field, the very same data will be posted on your Facebook group using post message action event. And the process of connection, I guess, is very clear to you all. So guys, this was the process that how you can connect your Facebook group inside Public Connect and create automations for your Facebook group as well. So not just Facebook group, guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. So that's it for today's video. Thank you. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Public Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.